had somebody ask me how to use dictation on the Mac. I don't use it very often, but it's not that hard to set up. You do need to turn it on for the system, so I'll go to the Apple menu and then System Preferences. I happen to know it's under keyboard. I actually looked that up, but right before I knew that, I typed in the word dictation and it pointed me right there. So that's a neat little trick if you don't know how to um, find things within the preferences. And so you would go into keyboard and then dictation. So yeah, if I didn't type that in, keyboard, and then it would open up there, usually dictation. In any case, then I can turn it on and it will give you some information about it. I will enable it. I could add a language if I wanted to. In my case, it's English United States. That's fine. I can also change the shortcut for it. Function key twice, that works for me here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I can change my headset if I wanted to. Once I'm there, uh, let's go ahead and set up just the font to be a little bit bigger so we could see it. All I have to do is use that shortcut, which is function key twice. Once, twice. This is a test of the dictation period. Seems to be working fairly well, comma, but I know it's not perfect, period. I wonder if I can confuse it by talking in gibberish. Period. So here we go in Svotisn a Futushvika Toshvikan Taprushkin. Period. I will click done there. And yes, so it is not perfect. And if it doesn't understand what you're saying, it might come up with. So here are we going to support us in our photo stick at toothpick in top brush Keaton. But if you speak fairly clearly to it, usually it works well. Again, it's not perfect. I'm going to come over here and turn it off, turn off dictation, but you can use it that way. It works fairly well. Do want to read it and make sure that it doesn't make any errors.